let's start off by moving up to reports, down to customers and receivables, slide over and open payments from customers. The first report we will take a look at is the payments report. This report sums up all your payments, such as cash, credit cards, checks, etc. Let's open it up. We're going to show all just because we don't have a lot of information in this data set. Preview. Here we can see some payments. Now these payments were in cash. We have the cash subtotal and then we have the payments total. Let's exit out. Back to reports. Down to customers and receivables. Next reports we will be taking a look at are the processed reports. Here we have our process credit cards and process credit card attempts. The process credit card report just shows all the credit cards that have been processed. Let's take a look at it. Show all and preview. Here we can see one credit card that has been processed and we notice that the amount, the processed amount was successful. And then we have grand totals down at the bottom. Let's exit. We'll go back to reports, customers and receivables. The next report we're going to take a look at is the process credit card attempts. Let's open it up. Now it is important to know that this report by default shows all successful and declined attempts. We can change this by going to declined and successful hit show detail, click the drop down, and here we can select the different criteria. Let's select successful only and preview. Here we see a payment. We notice that the process amount was successful. Now let's change the criteria to declined only. We'll go to setup here. Hit the drop down. I will select decline only and preview. Here we see another payment, but we notice that the amount here, 231, was declined. And we see that the processed amount was declined. Let's exit out. And we'll go back up to reports now. Customers receivables, slide over and down to our next report. Here we can see our credit card expiration report. This is helpful because you can know what credit cards to call on to set new numbers before they expire. Let's open it up. Preview. Here we can see one credit card that had expired. We'll exit out. Those are some reports you can look at when processing credit cards.